No one and them all. Welcome back to my channel, my lovely people. In today's class, guys, we are really going to treat household objects in Igbo. Household objects in Igbo. You get that? So, you get to know some household objects in Igbo. Stay tuned. My channel my lovely people i remain your lady Estuna. guys it's today the first time of you coming across this channel you are highly welcome and to my returning subscribers you guys know mm, i always had you guys Ooh, today we are really going to look into household objects household objects not Igbo. Mm? in Igbo. okay we are going to look at household objects objects in the house some not all destination all the household objects that means the video is going to be too long but we're just going to mention the few and the most important ones and let's go to finish it up in the comment section okay guys stay tuned let's dive into it right away Plate. Mma. Mm? Mma. Mma. Knife. Mma. Knife. I will be writing it down here for you to go the actual spelling. Okay. Ngaji. Ngaji. Ngaji simply means spoon. Spoon. Ngaji. Iko. Iko. Iko simply means cup. Oh, sorry. Photo. Photo. Photo in Igbo. Photo in Igbo. You'll see the spelling as you call it. <laughs> onyo nyo. Hmm? Onyo nyo. Onyo nyo simply means television. Television. Onyo nyo. Iho nyo nyo. Tiyeri mi ho nyo nyo. Then on that television for me. Onyo nyo. Got that? <laughs> Igbo is really sweet. Let's go. Okay. Abati oku. Abati oku. Abati oku simply means radio. Radio. Do you know that? Radio. <laughs> Abati oku. You know whenever on the um um radio, mm, he's always talking, talking, talking. So. <laughs> Igbo language is so descriptive. I tell you, it's so descriptive. They will, they will even describe the, the thing that you will even know is from the word itself. Igbo language is so descriptive. So, Abatigoku simply means radio. Okay. Ekwenti. Ekwenti. Ekwenti means telephone. Headphone. Ekwenti. Ekwenti. Ubala. Ubo ala. Ubo ala simply means car. Any car is ubo ala. Ubo ala. Then ulo ubo ala. Ulo ubo ala. Okay, that means where you park the car. Ulo is a house. Hmm? You see how descriptive ibo is. Ulo is a house. Then. Um, ubo ala. Ubo ala is the car. Ulo. Ubo ala. Ulo. Ubo ala. You got that? Where you park car. Okay. Next I have here is Oba tum tum. <laughs> How did it sound? Oba tum tum. Hmm? Oba tum tum. That's just motorcycle. Yeah? Motorcycle is Oba tum tum. <laughs> See how that is sounding? Oba tum tum. Hmm? That simply means motorcycle. Hmm? Igwe. Igwe. Igwe simply means bicycle. Igwe. Bicycle. Bicycle simply means igwe. Hmm? You see? Oba la. Oba tum tum. Igwe. Hmm? What 
surface. Ou bo elu. Ou bo elu simply means aeroplane. Eh? <laughs> Ou bo ala. Ou bo tum tum. Igwe. That just means all the means of transport there. Mbo. Mbo simply means door. Ntu oko. Ntu oko is hita. Ntu oko is hita. The heater that helps to heat the house or a transferable one, anything that is heating the house. Unto oko is heater. Then unto oyi is the AC. Unto oyi. Oyi is cold. Oyi is cold. So unto oyi is the AC itself. Okay. See how the Igbo word just describes. The meaning in his words. Um, let's keep going. Igodo. Igodo simply means key. Key. Igodo. Hmm? Ute. Ute. Ute simply means mat. Mat. Ute. Mat. Ute. Okay. Mota. Mota is equal. Equal the ones that you use to pound something. Mota is equal. Mm? Then the peso is called ato, akodo. The pounding peso itself is the akodo. Then the the one that you pound into it is the mot, which is the mota is equal, equal na akodo. The teremu equal na akoda. Bring that mota and the peso for me. Okay. Ite. Ite. Ite simply means pot. Pot. Aqua. Aqua. Aqua is plot. Any type of plot. Then you can go on to differentiate it. Aqua oyim or go to plot for code and so on. But generally plot is known as aqua. Then plot aqua unsachi aqua. Hmm? Got it? Aqua, unsachi aqua. That simply means bed sheet. Bed sheet. You can see how descriptive it is. Aqua, as I said, generally is plot. Then unsachi is just the process of it covering the bed. You see, aqua, which is the bed. The same spelling, but the same spelling, different um, um pronunciation. What differentiates here is the tone marking. That was the differentiates here, but it's the same spelling. Aqua. 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 Unsachi aqua. Okay? Aqua. Unsachi aqua. You see how descriptive almost. <laughs> guys, Igbo is sweet. Igbo is sweet. I tell you guys, you can tell that how sweet it is and so descriptive it is that it explains itself. Aqua. Unsachi aqua. You got that. Mmm. <laughs> Apa. Apa simply for the handbag. But generally, bag is apa. Okay? Oche. Oche. Oche is sit. Oche is sit. Ancha. Ancha. Any type of bathing soap. Any type of bathing soap. Let it be bath soap. Let it be liquid soap. But it's called Mcha, mcha in Igbo. Okay? Obo, obo, obo is sponge. Hmm? Obo is sponge. That you use to bath or you use a washing plate. Any type of sponge is generally referred to as obo in Igbo. Obo. Okay? Olo. I think I have mentioned somewhere here. Olo simply means house. House. You can see poor number. That we are going to talk about household objects. Ihe dena olo. Olo is house. And what is in the house? The household. Things we have in the house is the Ihe dena olo. Or Ihe mwere na olo. Apopo uko. Apopo uko. Apopo simply means Apopo, which means um, Apopo, 
Apopa no, more book and apopo, yeah. Because shoe is being made from, um, some shoes are being made from a skin of a, a, an animal, let's say. So, what not book and yeah, apopo, oko, more, apopo, oko, apopo, oko, depending, that's just all on day. That the first name for apopo, oko, that simply means shoe. Shoe, apopo, oko. Oku, oku, oku simply means cap. Your hair cap, your beret, your fancy cap, any cap generally is known as oku, oku. Nche miri, mwobo, nche amu. Nche miri, nche. Nche simply means covering. It's shedding you from something miri, which is the water. Guys. You already know it now, and I have not yet mentioned it, okay? I can see that you already gotten it. In check simply means cover. Something that is shedding you from something. Miri is water. So what is that thing that is sheds you from water? Then you are out there. Mm, umbrella. Umbrella. So you can see that you can see that you Yes, you use umbrella to shed yourself from the sun and also from water when it's raining so which is umbrella mm. aziza 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 simply means broom broom ankata 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 simply means basket basket that you can use to carry out some things around with your fruits or go to place, pick up something and cut okay. your basket. Ibo simply means fridge. 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 Ibo oi. Enyo. Enyo. Enyo simply means mirror, as I said. And the last but not the least, Ulo Eku. Ulo Eku. Ulo Eku simply means kitchen. Kitchen. Ulo Eku. Just like that. I'm just um pronouncing it one one like this because of the beginners. Ulo eko just uleko. Uleko simply means kitchen. Hmm? Kitchen. So guys, that brings us to the end of today's class. Guys, did you got any new name in Igbo as an as an Igbo? Or as a learner, did you got any? I would really love to know in the comment section. Oh, do you really want to share other household items that I did not mention here? Let us share in the comment section and learn together. Mm? Thanks for being part of this channel. Thanks for the support always. I so much appreciate you. And guys, have you watched this instance? I so much thank you. I so much appreciate that. But before you click off the video, don't forget to click on that red subscription button. On the bell on the side, so that anytime I upload a new video, you will really come to grab some knowledge here. Okay. So guys, appreciate you guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Will you love me to share any other thing that you would really love to know? Any book, any topic, you are highly welcome for me to know. Just let me know in the comment section whatever thing you would love me to treat in this channel. I will really be glad to do it. Okay. Thanks for watching. I so much appreciate. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.